As we worked on this story, we parked and watched this intersection for hours. We saw so many cars fly by. That's not going to be possible soon because instead of going through this intersection, cars will have to go around. A big burly boy. <laughs> when he laughed, you, you heard it. When he shook your hand, you knew it. The crosses set out in Tracy Walkup's memory stand tall, even as traffic <laughs> zooms past them. I mean, it's a wide open intersection. I just, I don't get it. The Ohio Department of Transportation has listed 235 and 41, a high risk rural road since 1988. They've tried to change that. There was rumble strips, there was flashing lights, there wasn't always a stoplight. But nothing's worked. We were there that June afternoon when Tracy collided with a Jeep Cherokee that pulled out in front of him. This is a rendering of a roundabout, the first of its kind in the state that would force all drivers to slow to 55 miles an hour around a curve. It's similar to what we see now in the center of Troy. Tonight, as Tracy's sister Lori Green sorted through photos. He just really was a happy guy. She said her family supports anything that would spare other families the pain they went through. It's still hard for me to go through that intersection. ODOT says when they've added roundabouts to similar intersections, there have been no more fatal crashes and injury crashes dropped almost 90%. It's more than enough to make Lori a fan, and she has a feeling Tracy is one too. Oh, you know he is. <laughs> Without a doubt, he is watching. The $1.5 million project won't start until 2014, but the communities organized a meeting to talk about all this on January 29th. We'll be there and we'll let you know what happens. In Pike Township, I'm Kate Bartley, News Center 7.